Hi guys, this is Felix Kinonia. Today we will see about how to create a simple JQ grid in MVC. So last video we have seen how to create simple code application and how to create simple MVC applications. In this video we will see simple JQ grid. Before you go that we need JQ grid UI, jQuery UI and JQ grid. So we need to download JQ grid and jQuery UI jQuery UI is for whole themes and jQuery grid for separate we need to download jQuery grid and jQuery so I'm going to Google page so you can just type jQuery grid download so now the page is open you can just click the first link and then it will redirect into Check your download page. See, this is the download page. See, you can see here, and I'm using JQ Grid plugin 3.8.2. So, I have already downloaded it. So, and then next one is we need jQuery UI. So, go to the Google page, you can just put jQuery UI. So, here the jQuery UI details, you can click here. So now the page is open if you want if you want to change any themes you can click themes and you can change this and then you can download it so I have already downloaded it also, also this UI also so now I am opening the MVC solution so first you need to create controller first I'm going to click control folder then right click and add then click control Now the controller tab is open. So now I'm using test controller. This is the sample controller. So I'm using test controller. Here I'm not using any crude application. So I'm just using simple JQ grid. So I'm using empty MVC controller. I'm click add. So now the controller page is open. This is the test controller. Now I need to create page so this is the method so I need to create this page for this method so I'm using add new I'm using layout this is the master page then put add now the page is ready so this is the test folder and this is the index so now I'm going to click test and this is so now need to add some JS and CSS files so first we need to add see you if you copy it jQuery grid and JS, J, jQuery UI file means you can just copy and you can just paste it in script folder so I have copied these things this is for whole themes and this is for jQuery grid these things are already inbuilt in MVC. So now I'm going to the index page. So now we need to track some JS and CSS file. First, we will add UI. This is jQuery UI.css. I'm just click and track it, and we need to add js file for jq grid this is for common js file and we need to add css for jq grid this is for this is particularly for jq grid so ui.jqgrid.css this is particularly for jq grid and we need to add language for jq grid so here i am using english language so i am using this one so this is for english language then we need to add JS file for JQ grid. This is specially for JQ grid. See, this flow is very important because the structure is very important. Because first we have added language file, then we have we need to add JQ grid JS file. So this is the procedure. If you change anything, it will not work. So be 
so please be careful so now I am going to add table and pager so I am clicking table I have put add sample this is ID then I need to add pager so I am just putting ID ok so I have added table and pager now I need to add script so there are two types of script we have added one is you need to create separate script file and then you can add it and then just like uh, this drag it so another one is you can add it inside the view so I'm using inside the script so I have put script so I need to add document ready function So this is the Tom. So now I need to add check your page. So here I need to add ID. So I'm using ID. So I'm using Ash. Then sample table ID. So first we need data type so I am using JSON then we need URL for that then we need call names then we need call model then caption if you want we can use view records see view records you can just click true or false Defaultly, it is false if you want you can add true now I'm put my controller name my controller name is test and my method name is just check you great so this is my method name and now I just add a simple records so I have to add simple records so here I'm using ID then I'm using name I'm using address so here I need to add three columns here this is a simple step you can just click shift and alt down arrow so here I need to put ID then I need to add name then I need to add address so I have added so now I'm going to add caption sample jq grid demo on that side so uh, this is so jq grid simple example so now I need to create method for this jq grid this is the test controller here action result I will put motor name then I need to create return type so I'm using JSON so here I'm not written anything to the JK grid so I'm just using null so that's all now that it is out here then we need to add we need to get numbers that means rows and sort orders these things so here putting in rows then index then 
so these are the things are must so you should enter these details so now we are ready now before you go to run the solution you need to go app start and then bundle config so here inbuilt JSS files are here so you just command it cannot come at it the executed will be conflict so conflict error will be displayed so you can just command the JS files so now I'm going to run the solution I'm just running the solution so now the solution is running so this is my main page so now I'm going to add, call my jQuery page so first I need to put my controller name then my page name so I can just enter the details here it's a simple jQuery is displayed like this see it's a very very simple things it is very useful I, I hope in this video will be useful for you so guys please go and do it yourself it is very very useful and we will next video we will see how to pass the values from controller to jQuery and jQuery code applications also uh, thank you guys thank you